You got anything, Ryan? Well, I actually wanted to, uh, Craig brought up something I haven't mm-hmm. really thought about the other day was the spot in between the final battle where, where Satan is released at the end of the millennium. Mm-hmm. Um, at, so after that defeat has happened, there's a long time before the Great White Throne judgments are finished, obviously, right? Correct. And then after the Great White Throne judgments are finally finished, then death and hell are thrown into the lake of fire. Correct. So what Craig brought up, and I had to think about it, was during, so there's going to be people being born and stuff during that time of, like you you talked about maybe 30,000 years or something like that. What do y'all think about this? Is that event going to be so significant? Because where it says, from whose face the throne, whose face the whole heaven and earth fled. Mm-hmm. Now, it could be talking about like when, looking back to when he had, was coming, because he used that. Will, will this event be so significant that that's all, like heaven and earth is just going to focus on this? The reason I say that is we're going to be there. Mm-hmm. Our jobs for everlasting is to rule over the heavenly places. But in that particular, in other words, if we're going to be there and it's going to take that long, is everything else going to shut down? Is that going to be all of God's focus for that time period? <clears throat> because remember, we're going to be ruling over the heavens. But I mean, with, with the with the dimensional limitations, we could potentially yeah, be sure. doing our job of, of See, ru- ru- reigning. You're right, right? right? I and, can't say we won't. Yeah. And, and, and dealing with the judgment seat of Christ at the same time. I, that's the, the great white throne judgment. Yeah. I'm sorry. Great white throne judgment. But, uh, You're not like old boys. Ah, it's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, totally different. Um, yeah. Uh, but one thing I was thinking yeah, was, think? uh, I, I, in my mind, I was thinking, well, does that potentially mean that basically anybody who makes it to that point is going to be locked <coughs> in, like just like they would be after the Great White Throne is done? So any children that are born, basically, they're going to be like that, the elect angels or whatever. Like they'll be good to go. Like, well, well remember, Ryan. Had Adam passed the test, right? Right. Didn't even matter what Eve did. Mm-hmm. She would have gotten forgiven his sake if right. he passed the test. And they had children after he passed the test. They would have been born in that state where they could not sin. Yeah. Right, right. So I think it's going to be something like that. And, I and think also so. they'll probably be bloodless, right? Well, sure, because, because they're going to be born like Adam's children would have had his same genetics, bloodless, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need the blood to be shed because that represents death, atonement, right? So they would be, I I would assume they would be bloodless, right? So do you think that after the final battle at the end of the millennium that all the blood in, in creation will disappear at that point? Like everything I see, that everything is going to go back to God's original intent. All the blood of people, I would say. Right, there's going to be people, animal right. sacrifices, Correct. right? And that's well, probably well, still have blood to be shed. With, with, man, with, man, with man, yeah. The reason I think that may, because it seems as if blood, as far as with man, came into being because of the, the fall, right? Right. That it was a judgment. I got, I got injured. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because of the judgment. And if there's no more sin and death, there's no need for man's blood to be shed, right? Christ did it. Um, so I'm thinking. Do you think when God made the animals in Genesis that they had blood because he intended them to be, to, for, for death of animals to, to be a thing? Or do you think that that was something that happened as, as a result of the flood? Because that's kind of connected a little bit. When you think about it, good question, Ryan. Because I could you make the case that God, foreseeing Adam's fall, would have made the animals with blood? The other thing that I'm thinking is just because He allows animals to continue to have blood, so there can be sacrifices as a memorial forever. That then why wouldn't they just have blood to begin with? That's what Could I'm thinking. Could they just be designed to be blood hosts, basically? Because they were designed mort- mortal, essentially. Correct. Right. <coughs> to be shed, blood to right. be shed, right. right. Do you think that they were potentially mortal even prior to the fall? Like, like had... That one's hard, man. Because did God... 
because he had a purpose for the animals, right? Right. To teach and stuff, but to serve man, the ox and the beast of burden, you know. Well, it seems like the yeah. the plants were immortal because they were able to be eaten and stuff, right? Right. So and that's a living thing, technically. That's true. Right? That's living that's thing. That God created mortal. So. And they it, would have been eating the pl- right. They is that plants. right? Is that such a far fetched thing that maybe he could have made the animals mortal, just like he made the plants mortal? And and for this particular purpose, because one animal wasn't a, a lion wasn't tearing up. Uh, 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 another, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't eating on a sheep or some a kid, right? Right. right. Not until in, after. In, well, to after the falls, but mm-hmm. if if he did make them with blood, and not, it, and not, it, not until after Noah, right? Is that that's when he right to after the after the, no, the flood. Right. Here's the question, though, Ryan. If God put blood in the animals when He made them. With the only purpose for doing that is because those animals' blood represents the shed blood of Christ right, for right. atonement. Right. But if Adam had not fallen or had not sinned and, 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 and been judged, would that have been a necessity for Christ to come and shed his right, blood? Right. You know what I'm saying? Good point. Because Christ wouldn't have any blood to shed had he come in <coughs> Adam's lineage because remember they were flesh and bone right Mm -hmm. if he was an offspring of adam which he was so do you think how about this then do you think that only the animals that are the clean animals for sacrifice will continue to have blood and the rest of them will go back to not having blood boy you crazy man (laughs) this is type of stuff that that's insane but that's right because i can't say no it's like So the ones meant for sacrifice, right? Like the, the, the ones that, were, that Noah was to bring seven up. Maybe only those As well as the, un, so the unclean would not. Because there's no reason for them. No reason, they would right, be sacrificed, right. right? That's deep, man. So that's maybe, right? Doesn't that kind of make logical sense? Now? Oh, yeah, well, sure, yeah. Yeah. He tells Peter, rise, Peter, kill and eat, right? And he, he put these unclean animals in front of Peter, but that was, you know, they had blood. Well, he put those unclean animals in front of Peter, right? Mm-hmm. Why do those unclean animals have blood now, right? All those unclean animals, everything from the my, mice on up, they have blood now, right? I think it's because... <clears throat> because of the curse on the creation. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Because it, it, Adam brought it into himself, and okay. Right. And and, and the th- the reason that Peter was to do that was you God was was that kind of like a, a precursor to kind of letting him know that the dispensation of grace was happening. Yeah, it was that the Gentiles were Gentiles clean. Were, right. Were clean. Right. <laughs> so it was like an object lesson for him. That would be crazy if the un, if the unclean animals had no blood, and the clean animals did, right? Right, right. That's what I'm thinking. And the unclean, so the unclean animals would not be subject to death anymore, but the clean animals would be because they're needed for sacrifice, and that would be their role. Could be right. Remember when it says this, a, a kick and hand next to a snake and a lion wouldn't do. It's staying on you. Without this blood, I guess their behavior has changed, also, right? Like a lion. Right. He he took he he, he took away the enmity. Yeah. And the. And I don't the, know if there's necessarily a connection to the blood, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But yeah. it's just that he changes it back to the way it was before Noah, before uh, there was yeah. enmity. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. Because there was they were they were like that with blood in mm-hmm. before Noah, mm-hmm. so it's not a blood connection. Oh, like okay. Right. They were like that from, oh, okay. from Adam to Noah. Mm-hmm. And, and they still have blood. Yeah. The lions ate straw like the like the ox. It mm-hmm. said, "Yeah, the lions ate straw." Mm-hmm. So, um, so yep. Yeah, so that's interesting. I got to think about that, Ryan. I never thought about that. So even down to the point, would the unclean animals have no blood? And, Just and simply would, be flesh. Would, would no involved. people then have blood at all? No, no, there'd be no reason for the babies being born, or the people, the Gentile nations, the sh- the the sheep of the sheep and goats. Would the blood go away from them after the final test was? Oh, after the final test, uh-huh. could be yes. Right, and then there'd be no more blood of people. Be- I I'd have to say lean towards that because right when he created Adam, 
Mm-hmm. Man, woman, and child would go into like the pre down uh, the pre uh, fall state. Of yes, the pre fall. Yeah, but even more so because he was subject to death still potentially, right? Adam. Uh huh. I mean, yes. he could right die. Whereas like because God gave command says, "If thou eat of, thou shalt surely mm-hmm. die." If death, if there's no more death, then no. So right. th- there's your answer right, right there. Right. Yeah, there's no more death. So then, no, so then they Adam probably wouldn't actually. have they wouldn't have any blood then because basically. So so you know what it tells me, Ryan? Even though Adam had no blood. He still, he still wasn't glorified yet. Mm-hmm. You know, what, whereas he was, they, they were being a glorified state. He was state. able to be changed into a body that would have blood, so he could be subject to death. Right? Say that again. Ryan? He was able to be changed into a body that could have blood, so that he would be subject to death. I think these glorified bodies, uh, even like bodies terrestrial, they, they're going to be no longer able to be converted to bodies no, that can right. have blood because they're because death, death is no longer an no option. longer death. Yep. He gets rid of all sin, all death. Gets rid of hell. Hell. A place for people. Right? right. If so, if if you if you do sin and reject God's uh, counsel against you and, and and don't and don't receive His forgiveness, there's not a place for you to go. So it, it, right. it, it, there's no need for blood then, right? No no bloodshed, no death, no hell. Yeah. Although, although it does seem that He's able to throw people into the lake of fire and st- and, and circumvent the hell intermediary, right? You're talking about at the end of the uh, Great White Throne. He's throwing people directly into the Lake of Fire, right? Well, he does throw uh, the false prophet and the beast into the Lake of Fire, right? right? So but a- but him. after after the after the let's assume let's say I, I sometimes think because of some verses. Let's say it could be thirty-three thousand years. He's dealing with everybody, right? All right. these laws. At the end of that, when he's when we're done with that, no more folks to. Sentence. Right. No one else is going into that lake of fire then, right? I don't think so, but they were cast, they both were cast alive into a lake of fire with burning friends. Now that's at the beginning. That's when the Lord returns. It's true. I'm just saying that there is an example that you don't need to go to hell first to then. Hell is. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, hell's, yeah. Hell's a holding cell. Yeah, you don't you don't necessarily have to go to hell no, first. And, uh, you first. can go direct. You can get a direct line. Because the beast and the false prophet, right. the antichrist and the pope, or whatever, they going right, right on in there. Right. Because right. they don't let. Interesting guys that billions of people are in Islam and in Catholicism, right? Mm-hmm. With these leaders, of, like these. Oh man, and that God is so angry. That they don't they, they they don't go past go. He just says, put them in there. Don't even don't no trial no that. Just cast them in there, man. Right. Instant judgment. Go. You just go. Wow. Where everybody else gets the trial and stuff. Here the case. God is just cast them in there, man. It's like I already know the deal. Yep. Wow. Yeah. That's that's deep, man. Kind of like with the fallen angels. Uh... Same thing. Although they went to hell, which was the, the cell, but That's they're going to be cast in the lake of fire. Yeah. But you know what? They get a trial, right? They get a That's trial. Good. I, I agree. They, they, they get, they get a, trial. a trial. Now that I think about it. They just went into the holding cell for all right. the thousand years of right. just waiting, but they get a trial. Some yeah. of them went in the pit. Right? Some of them went in the pit. Yeah. So um, anyway, so I guess That's ultimately that that yes, like once the final battle happens, so the Ar- Battle of Armageddon happens at the beginning of the thousand years, right? And then the final battle happens at the end? Battle of Armageddon happens leading up to the thousand years. Right, it's, right. It's, it's at the very culmination. Uh, it's, the, it's, a, it's the end of the seven years. Right. It's right when the Lord then returns. There's a, then there's the final battle, whatever that's called. It's not, it doesn't really have a name, right? Yeah. The final battle the where, final where battle. Satan is loosed, right? Right. That's at, the end, the, of at the end of the thousand years. And, so, it, and it doesn't give us a time period now. It, it does. It does seem like instead of taking thousands of years to deal with this, God's just instant. He's like, forget it. They gather an army. Fire comes down out of, from God out of heaven, which tells you, Ryan and Craig and, and, and Henry, the Lord Jesus kingdom is down here. But God, the father is still up there because mm-hmm. the fire comes, rains down upon them and zips them all. Yeah, it's probably from the sun. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. awesome. But uh, but anyway, like uh, so, so then, so then when that happens, after that happens, that battle, that final battle, then instantly all blood goes away from from creation except for for the clean animals. 
after the final battle, right? After the, that, he gathers that army, <coughs> encompass the Jerusalem. And so it's forth. almost like the Gentiles, the Gentile nations and stuff at that time, at the end of the thousand years, that make it to that without being cast body and soul into the into hell. That they are kind of like the like the angels that pass the test, or or the overcomers that pass the test, right? Right. It was a pass and then the they, test. they get they basically get. Like kind of like the law written on their heart type of situation, right? Where right. They get sealed. They get sealed. I, mean, I was right. talking about sealed. Man, man. So that's when all the blood goes away from creation, other than the, other than the clean animals. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't see any reason, knowing knowing what we know about why mm -hmm. Adam went from flesh and bone to now flesh and blood and bone. There would be no more need for that blood except for those clean animals that are constantly being sacrificed throughout. Yeah. In memorial. In memorial. Right, right. right. Cool. All right. That's good. Thanks, man.